Mr. President, I stand before you and all our colleagues in deep sorrow. As I sponsor my proposed Senate Resolution 74, kahapon ay malungkot nating natanggap ang balitang pumanaw na ang isa sa pinakamahusay na pinuno ng ninilbihan ng tapat, matapang, at masigasig sa ating bansa. Former President Fidel Valdez Ramos, or FBR, as he was called, passed away at the age of 94. Mr. President, it was President Ramos who convinced me to join public service when he invited me to Lakas NUCD, now Lakas CMD. Some three decades since, I have not known any party as I continue to be with Lakas as its present co-chair. So has our Chairman Emeritus FBR. We've been with Lakas through thick and thin. As Lakas has been with us in the darkest times of my life when I was in Krame for almost five years, FBR was by my side. He would send me books to read. Lagi niya akong pinapayuhan. Binibigyan ng pag-asa at katatagan. He was my first and true mentor when I forayed into politics. I was only 28 years old then. I was at, at the peak of my career, acting career, Mr. President. Sinasabi ko nga po, bago ako pumasok sa politika, biro ko nga po sa kanya, sa pelikula, isang suntok, isang gulong, isang halik, ayos na, masarap pa halik. Tawa pa po siya eh. Eh sa politika, gagawa ka ng tama, gagawin ka pang kontrabida. But FDR made a strong impression on me when he said, Bong, utang natin sa mga tao na tumatangkilik. Nagtitiwala at sumusuporta sa atin kung sino tayo. The opportunity to serve and give back is rarely given. Kaya pag dumating ito, there is no choice but to grab it by the horns. Mahal ka, mahal ka ng kabite, ipakita natin ang pagmamahal natin sa kanila. Kasama ko po noon ang dating NBI Director, na dating Gobernador, at dati ring DILG Secretary Pemaco Velasco, nang una ko pong makaharap si FBR. From that movement, until I eventually ran for and was elected as Cavite's, Cavite's Vice Governor in 1995. And up to this day, FBR is an inspiration and an, and an example I greatly look up to. Sab sabi pa nga noon sa Cavite, ang ibig sabihin ng FBR ay Fidel Velasco Revilla. His love for Cavite as his second home shined through our many collaborations. Alam mo po yan, alam po yan ni Senator Tolentino. Dahil uh, naging constituent po namin si FBR at uh, First Lady Ming sa Tagaytay. We work on projects together and envision a brighter and better Philippines for every Filipino. Yan pong tinatayo ngayon na Cavite LRT Line 1 extension na naapurbahan ng NEDA noong 2000 under the GMA presidency was first conceived when FBR was president and his humble representation was governor of Cavite. Gayun din po ang uh, sinisik sinisika pa rin natin ng conversion ng Sangli Point to an international port. Panahon niya rin po yan. Ito pong tinatawag na PPP 
o conditional cash transfer. Una po naming nabuo na ipinatupad sa Kabite noong 1997 kung saan nagbibigay tayo ng tulong puhunan sa mga maliliit na gustong magnegosyo na siya namang ipinapasa ang kanilang nahiram sa mga susunod sa kanila. He was our country's centennial president at ako naman ang centennial governor ng Kabite. Kaya't nang sunulubong natin ang sentenaryo ng ating bansa na naging malaking karangalong ko po na gumanap bilang General Emilio Aguinaldo sa programa sa Quirino Grandstand. Hindi po matatawaran ang pamana ni FBR sa bansa. Ginong Pangulo sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pamumuno ay umahon ang Pilipinas mula sa krisis na bumabalot sa bawat Pilipino ng mga panahong iyon. His presidency was not a walk in the park. His predecessors left insurmountable crisis that not even them could have endured. He came to the power when the Philippines was just reeling from uh, the aftermath of Luzon earthquake, strong typhoons, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo, and the Gulf crisis. And before he even began his term, the Philippines faced a crisis of insufficient electrical generating capacity. Natatandaan natin ang mga rotational brownouts na minsan mas nagtatagal pa kaysa sa oras na mayroong kuryente. He also inherited a chaotic time of rebels seeking to take power. Bangayan at sigalot. It was a time when the forces wanted to take advantage of the disarray. He inherited the struggling economy and rising prices. And he had to take action quickly and not one second too late. It is true, many criticize the decisions he made as president. But make no mistake, he made these decisions only for the best of the nation. He was in an impossible situation. Kung hindi dahil sa kanyang matatag na pagdidesisyon, baka hindi na tayo nakabangon pa sa mga kinaharap natin na problema noon. FBR did not just dream of bringing the country to international prominence. He actually brought us there. Sa ilalim ng kanyang panunungkulan, nakipagsabayan ng Pilipinas sa ating mga karatig bansa sa pagsulong. Like the true soldier and leader that he was, he went to war, made the tough choices, offered no excuses, and never rested until his tour was over. It is not exaggeration that he never rested. Even in the golf course, Mr. President, trabaho pa rin siya. As many, if not all of his cabinet would attest. It was very difficult to have him as a boss because he was a perfectionist and expected no less from his men. He strived to ensure that things are not simply done, but done excellently. His Philippines 2000 was widely successful and one of the many highlights of his years in steering the nation to greater heights. He succeeded in establishing uh, relative political stability after years of turmoil, producing economic growth and a reduction of poverty from 41% of the population, about 30%. Under his leadership, the, uh, the economy surged and poverty rate fell through his social reform agenda. Maraming mga mahihirap ang uh, nakatamasa 
ng ginhawa sa kanyang, mga, sa kanyang pamumuno. The average family income grew more during President Ramos' administration than in the previous 20 years. The growth of the country's gross national product, GNP, which was at 0.72% in 1991, rose to 8.42% in 1998. He broke monopolies that crippled the nation. He rehabilitated industry. The then ailing electricity sector was restored. He entered into major peace agreements with separatists, communist insurgents, and military rebels that helped mend decades-old wounds. Higit pa, siya ay isang true servant leader, a man for others. His undying service continued even after his presidency. Kahit natapos na ang kanyang termino, hindi nagwakas ang kanyang paninilbihan sa bayan. His mantra, kaya natin to. He became our country's North Star from whom we derive strength and inspiration. Mr. President, simply put, FBR's legacy is the foundation upon which uh, later administrations have built upon. Ang kanyang pamana, ang pagbangon ng Pilipinas mula sa pagiging Sikman of Asia sa pagiging Asia's rising tiger. By the time we celebrated our nation's centennial in 1998, just about two weeks before he stepped down from office, the Philippines has down a 180 from when he assumed the presidency. His was a relevant presidency. He answered the problems with the right attitude at the right time. Kaya naman napakalaking kawalan ginong Pangulo ang kanyang pagpanaw. While his passing is a great loss to me, to my party, Lakas CMD, and to those who personally know him, our loss does not compare to the loss of our country. The death of President Fidel Valdez Ramos, who was an international diplomat, a valiant soldier, and a champion in public and civic service, is a great loss for all the Filipino people. Mr. President, what we have is a borrowed life. Darating tayo sa panahon na tayo ay papanaw. Kung hindi man tayo matatandaan kung sino-sino tayo, ang mga nagawa natin ay mauukit at mananalay tayo sa kasaysayan at sa mga tao. Si FBR, maybe the next generation may no longer know him, pero ang kanyang mga nagawa, his exceptional legacy, shall continue to be etched in our country's history and in our people's memories. As the whole country mourns his passing, we honor his life and legacy. He was one of the best. Rest in peace, my President FBR. Ipagpapatuloy at itataguyod namin ang inyong naumpisahan. Patuloy po niyo kaming pagnubayan at gabayan. Ang amin pong pakikiramay sa lahat ng inyong naiwan. Thank you, Mr. President.